Hey there, Linux enthusiasts and curious learners. Let's explore the Linux file system and directories. The Linux file system is organized in a tree-like structure with the root directory at the top and everything else branching out from there. So, let's start from the very top. Before we begin, let's quickly go over some essential commands that you will find handy as we explore these directories. The cd command is your magic to change directories. You will use it to navigate through the file system. ls helps you list the contents of a directory so you can see what is inside. With make directory, you can create new directories and organize your files. Touch is perfect for creating empty files or updating file stamps. CP is your copy command, use it to duplicate files and directories. MV allows you to move or rename files and directories. The RM command is for removing files or directories, so use it with care. Now that we have our trusty commands at the ready, let's dive into the heart of the Linux file system, starting with the root directory, denoted by a forward slash. It's like the trunk of the Linux tree, and all other directories and files are rooted here. In bin you will find essential binary executables and commands that are crucial for the system to boot and repair itself if necessary, even things like curl, ls commands and so on. Boot contains the files needed for the initial booting process, including the Linux kernel and bootloader configuration files, so don't use it. Dev is where you will find special device files that allow access to hardware devices like hard drives and CD-DVD drives. ETC is a treasure trove of system-wide configuration files and scripts. It's where the magic happens, where you tweak the system to your liking. Home is where user home directories are typically located. Each user gets their own space to store personal files and configurations. lib is home to shared library files, vital for system binaries and other executables to run smoothly. var is where variable data files live, including logs, pool directories and more. It's the dynamic side of the Linux system. There you have it! If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech-related content.